pretty sure Danny's got maraca, uh, air maracas over there. I was doing some song. air maracas. Yep, sure was. Because it's the quinceanera <laughs> yeah. episode. Episode 15. I was pretty happy with myself that I remembered that word. I'm very upset none of us are wearing uh, poofy outlandish dresses. Just saying. I mean, it's not okay, my quinceanera. <gasps> That's a problem we should rectify. That's a problem. Gertie is trying to make queso fundido, so. But I want real queso fundido, not mm, imaginary. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, no, it'll be real. It'll just have spider in it too, instead of uh, you know carnitas or. Hey, whatever happened to what's the sausage spider I can't egg remember? We were playing chorizo. With. Oh God, he left it on his bed. What happened with that spider egg you shoved in your pillowcase? No, no one would let me go back to my room to drop it off, so it was in my backpack when I fell down the waterfall. Oh, that's right, it got oh, crushed. Yeah, yeah. That's so right. who knows? I mean, we uh, don't think it's clear. Uh, we have confirmation that it's crushed, but it's probably you soggy. You still have it, right? Didn't you keep it with you? Yes. It was yeah, it was very soggy. Totally Another water spider. Would it get waterlogged, <laughs> or would it just like? Look we'll thing. find out. All right. There's only one way to know. Find out next time. Okay, bye. Episode over. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys headed back to town once again. Made your report. Found out some other goings on. Uh, Heinrich hired a new employee or something Service. like that. I'm assuming Heinrich's going to, that's kind of what Heinrich's going to tell people. Something along those lines. Gertie and Bethan I mean, made a plan with food. Nope. Gertie and Lily. Yeah, thank you. Uh-oh, those are going to be under my names for this show. Where I keep getting Bruno and Carl mixed up, it's going to be Lily and Bethan. I won't be able to keep it straight for some reason. Just like August and October. Oatmeal and yogurt. <laughs> that one's my favorite. Lily, I how's your oats. yogurt? I'm not eating yogurt. Oh, right. I mean your uh, oatmeal. Every time. Tim does love oats. Well, they're so good. You can do so many things with them. <laughs> uh, and Bethan met with Melissa, found out the high priest of Ulrich is sick. Yeah. That's where we left off. It's probably spider bites. He did seem to have some kind of insect bite on him that Bethan has seen. The rest of you have here and there, but. They're not my spiders, though, because my spiders were with us the whole time. <laughs> they have an alibi. Yes. Here's the good news. I treated him. I gave him medicine. I kissed his boo-boos. We're good to go. <sighs> Rude. Good uh, thing Gertie wasn't there. He didn't like, know. Like, yes. kissed his boo-boos. I was like, take this medicine. Kiss your boo-boos. You know, I'm not going to literally kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would be very unprofessional as a doctor. Physician. Physic man. Barber. <laughs> All of those things. <laughs> uh, from the kitchens, Liliana's gonna be like, hey, Gertie, did you wanna get a foot rub? Uh... <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> well, that was my feet saying you very yes. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> I wonder if the mic picked it up. I don't though. think it did, uh, <laughs> but uh, yes. Uh. I thought, yeah, I that was part of the reason why you wanted to come back to the ship was to find Maribeth. Oh, yes. We need to go find Maribeth. Okay. You two are going to head to her room? Well, yes. Most definitely. Assuming that she's still staying on bolt. Are right, you kind of give it a knock at her door? Yeah, it's the old, uh, you know, one, two. Three, four. From uh, Lily. Oh, we're too familiar now. <laughs> uh, nobody answers. Hmm. Obviously, something's wrong. We open the door. Uh, okay. It's not locked. My bath. <laughs> My bath. You see. I did that pretty good. No. Yes. There's a few like personal effects about, but like mm. they haven't totally vacated the room, but nobody's in there right now. Okay, what's around? What are the personal effects? How many of it's food? <laughs> There's no food in here. Yet. Uh, mm. It's very important to check on their pillows, on their mattresses. Um, Classic up. hiding places. Correct. Yes, indeed. Uh, make a search check. Well, I'm doing it too. Well, well, search is in a skill. How about perception? No, I don't. Let's pick something I'm better at, please. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what am I 
rolling? Perception. I thought search was a skill in this game. It's not. It used to be. The, yeah, second edition it yeah. was. Two success levels. Difficulty. Oh, challenging. Which is just In difficult. which case, negative three success levels. Ooh. Liliana doesn't exactly know where dwarves hide their food. She knows where halflings hide their food. I don't want Liliana to hide food. Not sure what she's looking for. Where Gertie, you um, looking around for things, you happen to notice there's like um, bits of gravel like on the ground, on the on the floor next to the beds, and you see some you'd recognize as like rock dust on the pillows and stuff. Yeah, I mean dwarves, you know, they they, they rock and roll all night long. Oh, sweet Susie, <laughs> Gertie, these are things I don't need Thank to you. know about Maribeth. So as long as you can't eat rocks, are we good here? Um. Yes. All right. You can eat rock. The rock does the. Uh, if you do not have gelatin, you use a little rock dust from mines or coal. That makes. That makes it thicker. Doesn't make it like gritty though, like like teeth crunchy, grindy. It depends on how hot the liquid is that you turn it into. So it makes the soup uh, more stew. All right. All right. <laughs> I still, I don't think I'd, I'd be okay with the grit though. So you don't use a lot. Mm. A little, like a half handful of stone dust in a, in like a porridge. You don't know, no, no grit. Like what about like sand? Different stones, different consistencies. This is a legitimate conversation as we walk back. Correct. <laughs> you don't want to use sand. Sand is many different rocks, small. Uh. Well, you want to use one rock at the time. Uh, too many rocks, uh, too much. What if I took one big rock and like thunked it in there? Seasoning or not? Yes, that's how you get iron in your food. You take, uh, not rock, but a big thing of uh, ore from mines, right? You scratch it and then you put it in your soup and it fortifies the soup with iron. Helps uh, prevent anemia. Is this why you're so heavy? One like of the reasons, yes. Iron is iron helps us play. Mm. <laughs> Lily is is legitimately debating adopting a dwarf diet so she can get bigger and stronger in her head right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, so you guys all meet back up somewhere. Yes. After these little errands you did. Yeah. So it's midday at this point. You had lunch a little while ago, so I'd say probably around noon. Ish, maybe a little bit after. Cool. Um, the four of you and Vicious meet up. We'll stay on the deck. Why not? Yes. Discuss what you might want to do next. Yes, where to now? Should we go, um, you know, dragon hunting? Or should we go looking no. for orcs or we lizard men? I don't think any of those are really great ideas. Uh, so we have... Actively terrifying. Uh, yes. But also... I wonder if the lizards have good food. We could milk them too. We have to keep it alive then. I don't I don't know if they have teeth either. Lizards don't normally have, you know, like udder. Well, they do. They bite very hard. I wonder. So the priest who I had to attend to was clearly overheated because he's a stubborn man and continues to wear his giant animal pelts. But if we find the lizards and we skin those, that would be a much more like lightweight and waterproof um, outfit for him to wear. And then he's still wearing the skin of an animal, uh, but it won't overheat him in this jungle temperature. I wonder. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. Well, everybody make a um, intuition check. Intuition. Make a average. I'm going to really wish I had these rolls later. <laughs> nope, still didn't fail, or still didn't pass it. I was thinking maybe you could make this one very easy, <laughs> and, then, and then I could report to you some success levels. Six levels of success. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. I rolled a five. So. All right. Nice. Uh, All right, so, Gertie? Yeah, uh, four success levels. Still good. All right, so, um, Bethan and, I almost said Carl, Heinrich, 
aren't think of anything like this, but Lily and Gertie, uh, you remember when you were back at the watchtower, as the colony decided to call it, you saw the, the glinting to the north that turned out to be the High Elf Tower. You also saw another stone tower to the east, a couple miles. Let's go check out that tower. But there's dragons to the east, yes. And they're not going to be in the tower. The elves were in that tower. And of course, you know that tower is not big enough for a dragon. The dragon wouldn't fit in the tower. It would need a tower at least four times that size. And or it would have eaten the tower, in which case we wouldn't see the tower. This is why you two are professionals. Mm. <laughs> I don't certainly think this is a bad idea. Certainly a party of our size wouldn't draw the interest of any dragons or such mighty creatures. It's because we're so small. <laughs> I'm big for dwarf. I'm not. Oh, you're not big for dwarf. Yes, that's fair. I mean, three of us are like, and I'm like three of us are like Gertie and Vicious and me. We're not, we're not that big, Gert. We're not that big. Uh, I don't know. Uh, big enough to fall through, you know, bridges broke. <laughs> no bridges. We'll avoid some We bridges. do have to be more careful this time around. Can you bring the auto again, just in case he does fall through a bridge? Otto is going to have some other responsibilities. How about the Luca then? The Luca could help us find us the fruits. Yes, what is Lycra doing? Lycra. <gasps> uh, or is that too formal? I know yesterday you left a few of them with Helen working on the painting. There were some uh, guardsmen at the watchtower as well. Yeah, I had I had left Graham and Word up there. Um, yes, let's let's have uh, Lydia help with the acquisition of fruits or other similar uh, flora of this fine salad. Delightful. Hmm. That will be great, especially as elves are coming. I need uh, flowers to put the drink and. Plants to put uh, as garnish and things to drink and teats to teat. <laughs> teats to teat. And if these elves have been here in the Southlands for millennia, they deserve some good hospitality. Yes. They need some good halfling hospitality. They haven't had good food, I'm sure, too mm. long. As far as establishing value with new clients, it is very good if we can show them something that they've had access to that they have not uh, made use of, and that we've only been here a short time and we find something to impress them with, even though it's been right under their noses. That means that we are very valuable as uh, clients. Very wise, yeah. very wise, Gertie. And, and Bethan, before we send her away, make sure to let Lupe know anything that you want her to keep her eyes out for as far as medicinal herbs. Mm, wonderful. Thank you so much. So is Luca going to be traveling with you at this time? Yeah, she's going to kind of be like attached to the group, but mostly I think as a foraging slash finding new plants role. Okay. Cool. So you guys going to head east? Uh, b before we yeah. go, mm. uh, Bethan, mm. Melissa. Yes. Did she say she worked with... Uh, the lizard. The lizard before? Interestingly enough, I do have something that I need to drop off to him from her. Oh. Mm -hmm. So... She has worked with him. Okay. It is a, a container of, it's, it's used for people of advanced age, you know, usually 30s or Old so. Dudes. Yes. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Dying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm dead. <laughs> um, but it's I that do. young in the Warhammer world. No. Right. That's the thing. I was thinking like, well, I'm 22, but 30 would be, pff, forget it, buddy. If you survived to 30, you've seen some. You're things. golden. Yeah. Pony boy. He's um, human. So if I could pop in, and she did ask um, that I just look over him a little bit. And as a physician, I'll just need to do this in the conference room privately. But it'll take just a second. I just want to make sure he doesn't have any sores or oozing uh, because those are signs of infection. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
You will tell us if he's actually a lizard man, right? Of course. Okay. Yes. So you guys are going to head to the governor's estate first? If it's on the way, sure. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it is. I just don't want to fall down a waterfall with this moisturizer in my pocket. Like, you know, <laughs> just trying to plan <laughs> ahead. Fair. <laughs> Waterfalls, the scariest enemy in our whole campaign. <laughs> Tim thought I was going to be quicksand, but... We are our own villains. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. All right, so you head to back to the estate. Mm. Uh, Franz is still in the conference room, mm. pouring through papers and such. So I'm going to enter the conference room. I'm going to close the door behind me and say, Good afternoon, Franz. Oh, uh, hello, Bethan. How How is your work going since I saw you last? Oh, quite well. Lots of things to cross for reference and investigate into, but you provided me with a lot of good information. I'm excited. We're headed out to the eastern, uh, you know, further inland to the east to check out another tower. Oh, very good. Um, before we went, though, I did want to tell you, I spoke with Melissa about your condition. Oh. That you said she's been treating you for. Yes, yeah, she's doing a very good job. That's so odd, because she said she hasn't been treating you for anything recently. Well, there's been a lot of people on the boat. I'm sure she can't remember absolutely everything. Mm. Now, that seems to me like you're saying that Melissa is not quite professional, which I have worked all of my adult life under Melissa. I'm certainly not insinuating anything of such as that. It's just an old man like me is one that's not always a one that everyone has to remember as, as close. Well, she did send me with something um, to apply to your skin condition. Um, oh, thank you. So I'll just take a look at your hands uh, and your forearms that are afflicted and apply this for you uh, and give you some instructions on how to do so. Make a hard perception test. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm never going to make this. Hey, yes. Gertie, you can do it. Do you want to go swim oh, in the window? I made it. Oh, yeah. Did you really? <laughs> I did. I rolled a 22 and I needed to roll a 24. All right. So as you're talking to him, you notice he's starting to sweat. Mm hmm. Oh, very good. I uh, would um, just leave it on the table here, and I'm sure I can apply it later. No problem. Mm. Franz. Lily and I uh, peeking through <laughs> window outside. <laughs> if the window's not high enough, it, we would have to climb on someone's shoulders because we're both so short. Uh, yeah. At least the I know I can. kind of raised up. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, you have to stand on my shoulders. All right, all right, all right. We're climbing out the window. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, good, good luck in the jungle. Mm, no, I must insist. As a physician here at the colony. Insist on... Hmm? Insist on what? It, it would be unprofessional of me to uh, leave you untreated. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, in my advanced years, I, I know how to apply an ointment, but thank you. You can just leave it on the table. Mm, that's not going to happen. I... Well, if, if you insist, uh, just give me one moment. I'm going to use the washroom. <laughs> what are you hiding? Well, he goes, he gets up and goes out through another door. They're arguing. I'm going to follow him. He left. <laughs> Is he just leaving? Well, he's, he said he's going to the washroom. Did he actually go to the washroom? <laughs> Do you actually follow him? Yes. All right. You go through that other door and he kind of looks around like. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's, it, that door leads to like a, it's a short hallway um, with a couple other doors. And he's like. Uh, would you like to use it for ladies first? <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Uh, uh, very good. They both left the room. I can't <laughs> see him anymore. Oh, they're playing tag. <laughs> no, I think he's hiding. Uh, oh, I was hiding to go seek then. Sure. <laughs> uh, so he goes through another doorway or down another little hallway, like out a back door. The we need a new window. Probably oh. a separate little outhouse type thing. Okay. And he I, goes, I mean, he has to come back. He can't just run into the woods and hide from me forever. <laughs> I just want to put this stupid lotion on the stupid old man. We are now uh, running around the building with Lily on my shoulders. <laughs> Look at the window, window. Yes. And is Heinrich Lord. just letting us do this? <laughs> I mean, Heinrich is mostly trying to not look associated with you. <laughs> I imagine Heinrich still standing on the front porch by the front door, just looking annoyed that he has to wait this long. <laughs> and I imagine you guys like running Gertie with Lily on his shoulders, and then you just run into Franz <laughs> as he goes to the outhouse. Uh, yeah, so he goes into the outhouse okay. and shuts the door behind him. Does he like crawl down the poop hole oh, to get away from me? Are you just going to wait outside? 
Uh, not outside of the outhouse. I'll go back to the conference room. Well, we can camp okay. out. <laughs> well, he's Sorry. there. Yep. Yep. Spying around the corner. Oh, yes. Can I, like, yes. percept the table in the area where Franz is working? Like, to see if there's anything that looks... Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, dragon scales. <laughs> Lizard skin. He's really a dragon. <laughs> he's the dragon. He yes. the dra- and he could fit in the tower. Dang it. Uh, make a perception test. I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, say maybe I didn't make it. So you, yeah, you don't know what you're looking for. You're looking mm-hmm. around, but nothing stands out to you. Could I check like desk drawers and stuff to see if there's anything that he has been using to try to treat whatever it is that's going on with him? You got like a scratch and stick or something? Uh, sure. I mean, this place is pretty new. You can look around. Um, looking in desk drawers and whatnot, there's like one at the, uh, at the end of the room, um, which you assume probably would probably be where Elsbeth would be most of the time, mm-hmm. maybe, or it could be his. You're not really sure, mm-hmm. but there doesn't seem to be anything of note. Like most of the, the drawers are empty. Okay. Well, there's not, you know, it's still quite new. So cool. Question. Mm. Outhouse have a like moon hole. Yeah, of course. Not a moon though. It's like the, the cross of the empire. Lily, I have a indecent proposal. Mm-hmm. We should probably pick in uh, the hole in the outhouse. It's just a one square outhouse for one person. Yeah. Mm. Or we could wait a few ticks and then like knock on the door. Like pretend we want to turn. Oh, yes. And then if he doesn't come out of the first one, the next one can go. Just bug him till he comes out. Oh, so you'd knock like uh, like you would. Yeah. And then like we went a little bit. And then you knock like you would. Like I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. just like two different knocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I really <laughs> like the idea of uh, us peeking around the corner like Lily like first. Still on then- his shoulders. <laughs> straight up. We're still double decked on this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, this is so fun. I was going to think someone very tall is knocking on our house first. <laughs> you think it's me. Yes. So you knock on the outhouse? Uh, I'll knock for it because I'm on top. And I'll just wrap a whole bunch. Hello? Anybody? Is it open? Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh. We'll, w- we'll wait for a little while. I don't know how long you want to wait before Gertie. Oh, yeah. Then we'll wait like three minutes. If he does not, uh, you know, finish up, I'll knock on the lower part of the door. Mm. He's like, oh, is it just a minute? Well, I need to make. Uh, need to make. <laughs> There's a line out here now. I definitely thought you were going to say, need to make. I need to make boom boom. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was literally in my head. Then I was like, no, this is too childish. This is old man. He won't know what I mean <laughs> with this new hip lingo. You hear him kind of muttering to himself in there. Yes. And I need a perception test for that with a little window She's and everything. definitely going like. Yeah, and he's just kind of like. <laughs> Excuse me, Adam. And then the door opens up. Does it open in or or out? (laughs) Out. Then he probably pushes me right off of Gertie. Well, as he said, he was coming out because the door opens out. Oh, yes, I'm back up. Uh, He opens it up and he's just kind of like, oh, oh, uh, uh, thank you. uh, uh, Available. I thought Bethan needed it as well, but uh, very good. Very good. Uh. And he heads back into the house. Uh, Bethan, make a perception test. Just challenging. Fuck me. I literally just rolled a 19 for nothing. Now I feel that. When are you going to give us our fortune points back? Well, right now. Eventually. You can borrow one of mine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use they didn't come back fortune. when we slept? No. Dang it. Uh, so you're looking around in the conference room there. Mm-hmm. Uh, how long are you going to wait? I'll give him like seven minutes. Okay, he doesn't come back after seven minutes. After he leaves the house, what way does he go? He went back in the in the build in the estate. Oh, okay. Uh, we should investigate. Yes. Back to the window. Oh, we're not going to investigate the outhouse. Do you, do you want to check the outhouse, Gert? It doesn't smell that bad because it's pretty new. Mm-hmm. I mean, he maybe he like uh, drop a uh, clues. Some scales or a tail. Uh, if you oh. want, Gert, you can make a perception test for the outhouse. 
Liliana. Oh, okay. Liliana's not going to roll. She's too confused by the <laughs> what he could have dropped. Oh, yeah, I'm looking in there. That might be tail or other smaller lizards. Uh, she knows she's screwing with him, so she's not going to look. Two success levels. Maybe this oh. is where he got bit first time. Maybe the small, tiny lizards still in here biting people, turning <laughs> people into bigger lizards. Uh, so you see, like, on the bench where the hole is, um, you see what looks like some flakes of dried skin. I pick them up. Liliana's what? like, oh god, we found skin. Oh yes, you molting. <laughs> I did not expect you to pick it, them pass up. Pass it up. Pass it up. <laughs> I give her some. I take some. Can we I got... tell if it's actually like lizard or snake skin or human skin? Like, can she compare it to what she knows? What? Like, what kind? Of, what kind of lore or <laughs> maybe I'm animal as a rat care? Catcher, and she would know something of what it looks like if she found anything on it, the grounds. It doesn't feel like that papery, uh, like shed reptile skin. It does or does not? It does not. Okay. It feels like. Tim, are you recording like ass skin from toilet on your character sheet for your inventory? <laughs> Six flakes of ass skin. I, oh, so I did not think it was ass skin. Dan, what type of skin is this? Is this wrist skin? Is this ass skin? Do, we do know? you have trade or do you have lore anatomy? Let me check. <laughs> I do. I'm pretty sure Bethan does, actually. Yep. I have animal care and trade cook. <laughs> no, you don't know. It, you, you think it might be uh, dried skin. It is dried skin. Bethan needs to see this. Oh, yeah. Regardless. Cook, he knows like what way to best serve it or season it. Oh, God. <laughs> or oh yes, off. we can make crinklings. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah, it is. Uh, sorry. I hope nobody uh, listening or watching this is eating right now. <laughs> I hope they are. We should put a disclaimer at the top. Like, please do not eat any kind of like potato chip-esque foods. No pork rinds. Well, uh, let's no, to this no show. Pork rinds. Uh, so after seven minutes, he doesn't show back up in the conference room. Does Bethan continue waiting? We're going to go out to the hallway where I saw him go out. Okay. I'm going to like look out the back door where the outhouse is. You see Gertie and Liliana at the outhouse. like. Gertie's inside and Liliana's probably like yelling at him. I'm gonna say, I never got off his shoulder. I'm still on his shoulder. So there, <laughs> you see Gertie and Liliana in the outhouse, but Liliana's standing on Gertie's shoulders. Hey, hey, oh, look what we found, look what we found. Where did he go? <laughs> We're gonna run over to him and be like, well, first he went back inside. Second, look what we found in the outhouse. Yes, did he not come back in? He, I, he didn't come back into the conference room where I was. That's he came, skin. He came back into Manor House. That's skin. Yeah, he left it behind. And it's definitely not like, snake stuff. He's being very diversionary. I don't like it. Let me treat you. Do you still have the, the cream? Yeah. I sure do. I'm gonna put freaking cayenne pepper in it now. Here's what we do. <laughs> Lime juice. If there is one way to trick a lizard, let's get the big rock. And we leave it right out in the sun, yes? Put some bugs on it. Nap on it. <laughs> Mm. And then and when he comes out and he takes a nap on it, that's when we get him. Can I do a lore anatomy check on the skin to see if I can tell? It probably just looks like dried skin. To tell what? Like where it came from. How about very hard? I mean, I'll roll for it. Nope. Yeah, I mean, it looks like probably skin. human. Like dried human skin. When you're saying there's dried skin. <laughs> Force his hand. Um, is it like in sheets or like just like little flakes? flakes? Okay, okay, all right. Nothing too crazy. So really, we look like crazy things. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep. We all. All right. I'm gonna go back into the manor house and I'm gonna look around for him. Back to the. How window, are you gonna look Kurt? around for him? <laughs> okay. Walk around the hallways, shouting his name. All right, so as you... I'm not going to shout his name. Okay. That's a crazy person. But I'm just, uh, like, looking around. So you go down, like, a main hallway. There's a set of stairs going up to the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, and you hear somebody coming down the stairs. This poor dude. That? You see somebody wearing black robes. Who is it? As they come back, they come further down. You can see them more and more. Um, they have, like, a staff in one hand. It's a wizard. And a big, long, red beard. Does he have papers? <laughs> That's not your job. <laughs> In this game. You're right. So this is a wizard. Oh yeah, this this man comes down and goes, 
Oh, who are you? Why are you in here? Oh, hello. I'm so sorry. My name is Bethan. I'm the physician. Um, and I was looking for uh, Franz. I'm supposed to be treating him right now. And he left to use the, the outhouse and, and never returned. And I'm quite concerned. Oh. Have you seen him recently? Um, last I knew he was in the conference room. That's where, that's where he was supposed to come back and meet me. He didn't go upstairs. You didn't see him up there. No, I was just taking a nap, so I'm not, he might be, I don't know. Okay, I'll continue my search. Uh, my name is Bethan, and you? Oh, yes, Sorry. he hand, holds out his hand to shake your mm -hmm. hand. He says, my name is Heinrich Norlam, but everybody calls me Char. Char. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Did you get that nickname from the color of your hair? No, usually from what I leave things as a smoldering wreckage oh dear <laughs> no uh I, yeah uh, you may have guessed i am a, a bright wizard uh -huh. from from the uh the actually college uh from altdorf originally uh and i was brought on this uh expedition for my uh expertise with uh the arcane wonderful how delightful yes how are you finding things here on this fair colony it's hot i love it i'm sure yes wonderful well as a physician, I feel like I wouldn't be doing my uh, due diligence if I didn't tell you to please make sure that you don't become um, overheated from the heat, even though you love the heat. It is possible for the body to become, um, you know, overheated. Yeah. If we're not acclimated to this weather. So do just take care of yourself. Make sure that you're taking many uh, breaks and cooling off, perhaps in the lagoon. Oh, I might do that at some point. Uh, thank you much. Uh, you see, so as you're talking to him, you notice that he looks kind of like a typical wizard. Um, most... You've seen other bright wizards probably being in the palace of Gnome. Typically, they wear bright red or orange robes, but his are black. And he has like a staff in one hand. You see a sword on his hip, which is very typical for bright wizards. They're usually because um, they like set it on fire, right? Yeah, they can draw their sword and have a flaming sword and whatnot. Oh, cool. um, but he has around his neck. He wears the like a thick chain necklace and hanging from it is a brass key. And then he has uh, a big red beard. His hair is red. Most fire wizards, over time, their hair turns red just from manipulating that magic. And he, you can see his eyes are kind of like an amber color. Mm. And then his hair just kind of sticks straight up in all directions and is bright red as well. Seems like a cool dude. Yeah. You know. I wonder why he's wearing black. But he kind of nods to you and just kind of continues on. All right. So I'm going to head up the stairs. Okay. I'm going to check the rooms. All right. Um, most of the, the, you see doors are open. Uh, they look, they're, they're bedrooms that haven't, you know, they're, again, they're very new. So people haven't really made them their own too much yet. Mm. Uh, but you do find one of the doors to be locked. Mm. I'm going to knock on it. No answer. We're Has anybody come back them. in the conference room, by the way? Has anybody come back in the conference room? Because we're still spying in that window. Uh, no. <laughs> You see, you see the wizard go by one of the doorways with an open door through that window. There is a very distinct trail where I'm dragging my torn muscle leg oh, no. uh, back and <laughs> oh, forth. Yeah. Oh, gee whiz. Clearly, it's not a concern for either of us. Well, this is a very important. <laughs> Heinrich! Heinrich, he's missing! <laughs> Who's missing? The lizard man. The Franz. He never went back. The Franz. The Franz. Frederick, you mean? <laughs> the one that with the papers and the maps in the room. The, Ste well, the Steinhauser. What? Why is it even our concern? He's clearly a man of standing. Working for the princess, I'm sure that whatever business he has is his own. So why are he hiding? We found so many skin flakes in the bathroom. Heinrich just kind of like dry heaves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, oh, boy. It, surely you've already invaded his privacy enough by getting his bathroom leavings we didn't go in with him heinrich oh, yes we wait for him to finish there is no time no amount of time that can go by that is going to make what you've done even remotely acceptable <sighs> liliana what? just like waves him off what 
type of man, regardless of how old he is, turns down any doctor rubbing ointment on him. Ever. This is very suspicious. Mm, I agree. What do you do, Bethan? Do you knock again or do you leave? I'll knock one more time. He's not going to answer. And, I mean, we'll have to report back here when we find more stuff out, so I don't see the point in wasting any more time here. All right, so you knock that second time, yep. and you hear like a, <sighs> on the other side of the door, and the door slowly, you hear, and the door slowly opens inward, and it's Franz. Franz. And he goes, oh, yes, I forgot to meet you back in the conference room. I came up uh, feeling a bit tired from all the work. I was going to take a nap. How, how could I help you? I just need to uh, treat your hands with this new moisturizer. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, I totally forgot after I went to the washroom. Of course, of course. Come come, come, come on. I do hope you're not overworking yourself, Franz. Well, it's very I, easy to do in this heat. That's why I was going to take a nap, cool okay. off a bit. Wonderful. You know? Well, as soon as I'm done with this, off to dreamland you go. Oh, oh okay. He has a seat on the bed and he pulls off his gloves like finger by finger. Mm -hmm. And you can see his hands are very dry, flaky mm -hmm. skin. Is coming off. So weird about it. And he kind of holds them out to you. Oh, Franz, honey. <laughs> why are you being such a weirdo? We just tore. Are you actually asking him, him that, or yeah, like Franz, why? Why are you being so evasive to me? Uh, uh I don't. I don't understand. I had to use the washroom, and then I was going to take a nap. I, I, I apologize. My, uh, just. Had forgotten our earlier conversation. I was distracted by a strange dwarf halfling. Your friends uh, startled me coming out of, of the latrine and uh, it just left my head, as it were. They are an inquisitive bunch. They really are. Indeed. My goodness. Well, Melissa sent this moisturizer over. Um, you'll want to put this on your hands uh, twice a day. Try to leave your hands out of the gloves for a few hours every day, perhaps now while you're napping. Well, yes, um, yes. So that the moisturizer can really do its work on the skin. Okay. Um, and you want to avoid sweating too much because that can, um, you know, cause you a lot of pain. Uh, you, you see how you have all these cracks? I'm and, aware, yes. And whatnot? Yes. Um, how long have your hands been like this? Oh, it's, uh, a few months ago it started, I believe. Oh. It was relatively new. And it's just, just your hands and your wrists here? Yes, I'm getting used to it. Just my hands, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Well, honestly, um, let me know when you need more of this and we can get you more. Of course, it's easy enough to come by and easy enough to, to uh, bottle up for you. And really, you need you are a very valuable member of this endeavor and you need to take better care of yourself. Oh, why? Thank you. Your yes. health is of utmost importance. No, oh, indeed. So enjoy your nap. No gloves while you're sleeping. Okay. So you apply it to his hands? Yes. Okay. Does anything seem suspicious? No, it just kind of feels gross. It's really nasty. <laughs> Does he have a tail? Not that you see. What do his nails look like? Do they look like talons? They're kind of overgrown. Do they look like lizard hands? <laughs> Is he scaly? What do his pupils look like? What? Like lizard eyes. What? No, he looks, his okay. pupils okay. look like. Liliana has successfully eyes. convinced more than Gertie that he is a lizard. <laughs> I'm a little suspicious. Of what? He's got dry hands. Try to there add a little detail to the character. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> Don't believe him. This is red herring. He's right? very it's dark. So stupid. Like, I'm going to add a detail and let it go. Like, on me, not on you. Like. What? What? Like, I'm just going to add a little detail and I'm going to let it drag on for half an hour in an episode. Well, I'm not going to say you can't do that if that's what you want to do. Well, then just let me do it in the first place. He didn't want you to see his weird hands. There's something else here. I don't believe him. He's trying to. Yeah. I'd be embarrassed if I were him. This guy's a mutant for sure. Oh, for he's sure. Hiding something. <laughs> he's actually the bright wizard and he messed up his hands. That's why he's wearing the red robes. The other guy's wearing the black robes. Calling it. Interesting. While I'm applying this, I do want to comment and say, like, I noticed that you were wearing red robes and the bright wizard I ran into on the stairs was wearing black robes. <laughs> it is rather ironic. Yes, uh, I have robes of, of varying colors. Mm. From what I understand, Char uh, wears black 
uh, typically wizards wear colors, uh, wear the colors of the, the winds of magic that they manipulate. So typically a bright wizard such as himself would wear red or orange or yellow to represent fire. But he says that he wears black to better power magics to, to turn things into a uh, blackened husks. I don't know if it works, but he, he seems to be a powerful wizard, and that's what he's explained to me in the past. Whatever it takes. He's a good man. Wonderful. So glad to know it. All right, friends. We'll check in with you after we um, investigate this other tower. Oh, Enjoy yes. I'm now. very intrigued. Wonderful. Good luck. I hope you all return safely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Boy, so you guys gonna meet back up around the front of the estate? Yes. Bethan, Bethan, Bethan! Ugh. How many tails does he have? He's not a lizard. Yet. <laughs> no, he don't. I don't know why. He said he forgot that he was supposed to meet me. Liliana has officially um, sort of lost control of her own lie. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> it, All right. It, and forgetfulness among old men is not not to be unexpected. It's can, Waldo is frequently missing meetings, but <laughs> he is an old man. That is true. How can we trust this man to be doing all the things that he says he's doing when he doesn't remember how to use bathroom correctly or not to go back to conference room? Did he even ever tell Rudy or... The princess, anything that we tell him, this is very lizard uh, uh, attributes. Well, I mean, Heinrich's kind of right. Dad got old. He definitely started forgetting recipes. He forgot the salt one time, Gert. It was bad. Oh. Right, but uh, when you are discovering the world, do you say, oh, who should we bring to remember the salt? Was it your dad? Because it probably wasn't. He's got a point, Heinrich. This is not someone you trust for a very important job that we, us four, should be reporting to if he is so forgetful. I do agree. Perhaps when we come is back, it, we should um, speak with Rudy personally. Is yes. not his memory irrelevant when he is writing down what we tell him? It is if he forgets what he's doing and goes to bathroom and maybe needs to use the said paper that he wrote the notes on <laughs> and then goes upstairs to take a nap. I don't know. This doesn't sound uh, great. This is something we can reflect what? on as we head out to the other tower, of course. What if... Bethan, mm. Bethan that's an excellent idea. We can explore the ailments of old men back at back in the empire, but we can scarcely discover the mysteries of the Southlands. Yes, we cannot Sumerian milk this old man. We need to find something to do that too. <laughs> yes. Cool. All right, so you guys are gonna head out east. Um, yes. So you can go past the waterfall tower if you wanna like fill up some water skins from that pool. Yes. That Gertie almost drowned in, and then continue on east. I'd like to, before we leave that tower, can Ooh. we check in with uh, Helen just to see how far along the uh, the painting is? Sure, you can climb up that ladder and check that and just head out east from there. Um, a pretty, you can tell that like she has her canvas set up and she's got some um, like base layers of paint down, but you can tell this is going to be a long process. Okay. It's starting, you can kind of see some of the, the basic colors in their spot, but there's nothing, it doesn't look like the painting yet. Uh, cool. Well, I'll just let uh, Graham and Wirt to continue to stick around with Helen and uh, come let me know when she is nearly finished. All right, cool. So we'll head out east. You find your way through the jungle fairly easily. Going through the jungle. Jungle, jungle. I'll reveal jungle. on the, the regional map what you find. Yes. 
and you come to a tower that's made of, uh, it looks, the stone is, is the same as the watchtower, except this is just one tower in a clearing that is... Let's see, we have a clearing that's a roughly 20 yards in diameter, and the the tower itself is about six yards square. Um, so not small. Figure it's about 80 feet tall. Uh, but really what catches your attention in this clearing is a bunch of figures. Living kind of figures? milling about. Milkable figures? Well, uh, you're not really sure. Oh, I'm boy. direct you to the, the Discord. I want to share a picture of one of these things that stands up and looks at you. There we go. Okay. All right, if that looks at us, Liliana is going to attempt to duck behind a tree or below grass, depending on how tall the grass is. <laughs> so in this area, so it's raining lightly now. It seems to be letting up a bit. And in this clearing, you see um, well over a dozen of these figures. They look human sized. Uh, they're covered in a kind of beige yellow fur. Uh, they have a long tail. That is also covered in that fur uh, and they have kind of uh, almost humanoid faces, but not quite. They have kind of a little bit of a muzzle. Uh, you notice some horns growing out of the top of their head and you see a few of them about are armed. Uh, they have um, look like some kind of sharpened sticks on their back and a few of them pick up these like black stone clubs. Uh, but you, you immediately notice all of you, that not all of them are these warrior types. You do see some um, that are clearly would be female varieties. You see smaller ones that are probably uh, younger children, maybe. Okay. Kind of thing. And as you are looking in this clearing, everybody make an easy perception test. Yeah, five success levels. Zero, but that's success. Easy, four. Yeah, or also uneasy for Heinrich. Wow. All right. So as you um, are at the edge of this clearing, so you don't just walk right in. You, you hear and see these people before you go right in. You see on the tower here. It looks like it's been painted on. You see uh, big paintings of what must be the dimension off or the the great ape that giant beast you saw from the watchtower you see what looks to be like paintings of that in different colors and different patterns and things painted all about this tower and as you're standing here you notice that the one creature that looked over your way doesn't isn't making eye contact with anybody and then turns back around just maybe it heard you for a moment but didn't quite see you in the darkness of the of the canopy. Before we approach these creatures, maybe we should hide out and see if we can learn anything by listening. And Heinrich is going to hold up the pendant that lets him understand other languages. Heinrich, that is a wonderful idea. We should absolutely, you know, use our intellect here and study first. Um, as there are, you know, females and children about, I am loath to go in with aggression. Liana agrees and goes, uh, knowing, knowing their movement pattern is a great thing to know before you go in and, uh, remove any kind of pest. So you never know who could be a reliable client. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you're just going to kind of survey for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, we want to skulk. <laughs> I like it. All right. So um, if you're going to be so when everybody make a stealth test, see if any of them notice you at the edge of the woods here. Want Vicious to make a stealth check. We can just kind of roll Vicious's in with, okay. with Liliana's. Mm. I'm going to be using a fortune point. I see a lot of grimaces around the table, too. So you gave us our fortune points back, right? What? 
I feel pretty uh, filled with determination. I think probably a great time to get the uh, frontal <laughs> points. I mean, I did treat a patient, so that's, that's you know, okay. I still have one, so I'm just going to use it. Okay. Um, yeah, I have one. I'm going to use one more. Excuse me, but uh, my long-term ambition is find something to milk. There are things to milk here. I don't think it's appropriate to do so, but I uh, the, very specifically the way that it's written says find something to milk. I These believe motivation milk. gives you back resolve, not fortune. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 45 and needed a 49. All right, so zero degrees of success, but a success. Heinrich got one success after burning a fortune point. Okay. Yeah, Bethan? One Still level. No. One, Just one negative success level? Yes. Okay. Gertie? Uh, negative two success levels. All right. So you guys are watching these people, and you do see there are a few different varieties in that. What are clearly like warrior types. You see some that are, um, You after a little bit, you do notice far near the tower that seems to be like a cooking pot over a fire you see um others you see a, a pair sitting on the on the ground the the grass is a bit shortened here um as like it's the clearing and you see one like kind of picking at the back of the other one mm. so are these like monkey beast men kind of they might be yeah uh, how long do you stay and watch? And probably until Heinrich can pick up some type of uh, language, right? Uh, until his, yeah. see what they say. Yeah. Yeah, I want to try and hear, overhear something before we make any moves to just know what they're about. All right. So you realize after, we'll say, five, ten minutes that you aren't understanding any better from from where you are. Mm. I will say that it was about two miles from the watchtower to get to this place. Um, so we'll say it's kind of like er, mid afternoon, early afternoon at this point, after all of the uh, hubbub at the estate. That would have only really taken like 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, well, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> so I, I think that maybe. Maybe we we'll try to introduce ourselves to these people yeah they they have they have children and, and things around they will not uh, probably try to incite attack from us and they might think that you and lily are our children how dare you i'm just saying they don't, i'm older than you i know you are but they don't understand <laughs> halfling and dwarf in comparison i didn't otherwise. sign up to pretend to be your kid bethan you don't have to pretend i'm just saying they might make that mistake in, in <laughs> best case scenario they seem to be savages worst case scenario there's some sort of beast man I don't know. They seem like they have a uh, community and things. This is not savage. <laughs> you hear oh. from the jungle on the other side of the tower. All right, there they are. And then everybody I, in the clearing uh, kind of comes to attention and turns that way. So Heinrich's unsheathing pretty much immediately. He doesn't see this ending well. Okay. You said the other side of the clearing? The far side of the clearing like, from where you are. So they're not looking at us anymore. Right. They're facing the other way. So I'm going to look to where they're looking. And you hear lots of like chittering and chattering amongst them. Uh, a little bit louder, a little excitable. Um, but you hear that like they're going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're communicating. What do you see, tall one? <laughs> they're all just looking in that direction and making their noises. I don't I don't understand. I don't see anything. But, but there's predator or something on the other side. A dinosaur stampede. There's another dinosaur stampede. Sigmar, help me. <laughs> Maybe if there's a very old man with dry skin on the other side that they are curious if his lizard not again. or not. Never if again. this emulet is not translating anything from them, then this must be the base grunts of an animal. Hmm. Mm. It could be a language with which we are unfamiliar, and therefore the talisman would not work. Hmm. So you just keep watching for another minute? Yep. So the, the excited hoots and howls uh, kind of come to like a fever pitch, and then into the clearing come a few more of the warrior types. 
uh, between the two of them. They're carrying a carcass of some beast. It looks like nothing massive or anything like that. Well, roughly their size of the two of them carrying it. And you see a another one that looks a little bit different than the rest, wearing a bunch of like brightly colored feathers and things, holding up a staff. And they're all like, everybody's real excited now. Perhaps that is the leader. Uh, they're definitely bringing back dinner. I bet you if we brought them food, they'd be real stoked. Okay. Okay. Tip number one for catching yes. rodents and making friends with wildlife. Feed it and we'll come to you. That is true. <laughs> that is so very true. Hmm. What Do we have anything... Do we have any of the biscuits left from the elves? Uh, no. no. No, that was way back in the big morning then. Yeah, I ate them no. and lunch and any leftovers. <laughs> How many of them appear to be warrior types? After a, a few minutes of watching, you, you figure there, there look to be about 10 of the warrior types and then the leader, whatever that might he de, The leader isn't armed with the, the sharpened sticks. We are not in a position to take this many adversaries. Can yes. We, can we tell we what should. they killed? If you watch for a few more minutes, it looks to be a boar. Have we we haven't seen boar yet walking around, have we? No. No. Well, now we, we should boar. We should certainly return here with a contingent of the guards so that we may deal with this colony of beastmen that will surely be a trouble for our colony. Or just bring them aboard. Why don't we... Uh, oh, how many are there now with these new warriors with boar? It looks to be ten warriors, ten warriors and the leader. And then another ten or dozen or so others. Lillian, if a if appeasing the beast men was a way to get them to stop attacking villages in the empire, surely this plague would have been long gone. Well, we're not in the empire and there are no villages. They're not attacking anybody. They're eating dinner. Listen, so if this was fewer, if this was maybe a smaller party, I would say let's try to establish communication. But there is many here now. It would be very dangerous for us. Mm. Mm. I'm not yeah. saying don't bring the guards. I'm just saying feed them first and leave the guards over there. I do agree. Diplomatic relations are a good idea first. I agree. Also, then... darts. Mm. What kind of weapons are they wielding? I said they look, they have. Oh, the clubs? They have those clubs and then the sharpened sticks you figured are probably like javelins to be thrown. Hmm. I wish we had something to offer them now, but unfortunately. Yeah, you, you left that cream with Franz. You did. <laughs> yes, these mammalian, you know, fully furred animals would love some moisturizer in the jungle. Sure, they love it for their fur. Yeah. So glossy. I don't know. Maybe we try to go around or go back. I don't necessarily think Heinrich is uh, the sorts here. I think maybe... We could... Okay, so looking at the map on Foundry, there's a river that runs like through the other watchtower. Um, maybe we could go south until we meet, like reach that river and see, you know, go down the river a little bit, see what we can see. Maybe some waterfalls to fall down, you know. <laughs> Fish to catch, fruit to find. Oh yes, we're gonna ferment them. You do, I mean, it's, you found something here. You do have things to report back. Mm. You have a few options, what you want to do. Or if we're going to go back to tell the guards like Heinrich wants, I think we go find the river and then follow the river back because then at least we're doing two things at one time and maybe we find fruit. Efficient. Yes. Yes. All right. So you're going to try to head south. you, my lordling Heinrich. (laughs) (laughs) If we must take a detour, it will, at least it will make our time productive. Mm. And then we will deal with this new threat once we are better prepared. Maybe they're river clams or river dolphins or river, mm-hmm. you know. So the plan is to, to head south till you hit the river and then follow the river back west to the watchtower? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So why did you guys leave? Uh, no, I, I was going to have you make stealth tests, but they are very uh, preoccupied. Cool. 
with the hunting party returning. So uh, let's make a navigation check to find the river. We'll make it uh, average because you know you got to head mm. south. One level of success. Two levels. Um, also two, one but level uh, in the other area. way. Negative. Very good. So you guys head south. You find the river. Uh, here it's much wider uh, flowing. Not terribly fast, but wider than it was at the uh, waterfall temple. At the um, the watchtower, as we're now calling it. Uh you sure we're not just going to name it the Waterfall Temple? <laughs> oh, gosh, I hope it's not the Water Temple. It's uh, statistically one of the ones that's rare, but Literally the worst temple and the hardest temple. Oh, yes. Fair. Uh, so you continue going... Now we go west. West? Yes. Uh, as you're heading west, you see the, the river uh, kind of narrows a little bit, picks up speed. Um, it gets to be there a little bit of white caps here and there. Uh, and then suddenly there is a stone wall, the same, uh, dark stone, 10 feet high. Um, like blocking us from making progress. Right. Like, like perpendicular to the wood, to the water. That we didn't hit a wall before. That's weird. So You're not after to about half a mile or so along the river, you find this 10 foot wall of stone. Can we go around the wall? Uh, it looks like it continues into the jungle for quite a ways. How tall is this wall? 10 feet. 10 feet. I think we can go over this fine. No, no. Really? No. no well, Beth, is like, Beth is like 14 feet tall. She's so standing on my shoulder, she's just go over and pull us all up like a rope monster. But why didn't we see the wall when we were walking to the towers the first time? Because it's only 10 feet tall. <laughs> but not how long it is. 30. It's only 10 feet tall. <laughs> how tall is Beth? Isn't she like six foot feet? two? Yeah. It's like yeah, 10 feet. She can like reach it by doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Practically. You want to try to climb up and over? I have a back you can stand on. Yeah. Up and over. Up and over. Pretty, except on the right side where my leg hurts. <laughs> All right. So you just want to climb up? Yeah. So you could kind of jump, grab the top, pull yourself up. Yep. When I'm uh, on the top, I want to look down and see if I can see from this vantage point about how far the wall goes. Okay. So you can get up here real easy, especially yeah. with how tall you are. Uh, like I said, just jumping and reaching arms up, you can get up there. And you look and you can't, you, it like disappears into the the canopy you can't see How too far we did not see this on our way to the tower strange all right so i'm gonna hop down the other side you're all not right. even gonna lift me up so Come on. hopping down to the other side i'm gonna have you make an athletics test oh, because God. this wall is not um totally of sound of mortar and things shift under your feet as you jump before we do that she's got a good point one get on him. Lily's gonna get on Gertie again. Hand me vicious. Okay. Oh yes. Maybe we can get vicious over. Mm -hmm. And then I can grab Liliana too. So then she can help me as we try to get the guys across. We've okay. learned in uh Wolfarp that uh walls are <laughs> Can I please dastardly. have my fate point or my fortune points back? So this is one of the, the jungle hazards. A wall? Yeah, probably the most deadly one. So I called this one the dastardly wall because <laughs> how much trouble it was in Bogenhofen. <laughs> yes. I'm going to I'm gonna fall unconscious. Sorry, guys. Now you're going to have to you know carry my ass back. I mean, Liliana hates further. this plan and she makes it very well known and complains the entire time. <laughs> she sounds worse than Heinrich, honestly. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's so high up. No. All right. So to simplify things a little bit here, I'm going to have everybody just make a challenging athletics test with uh, plus 10 for anybody up on top of the wall helping them. But anybody that's assisting, if they fail that test by four or more negative success levels, will fall off the wall as things shift too much under their feet as this wall is crumbly a little bit. This is when Bethan dies. <laughs> <laughs> right, Not well, falling off the cliff, but this 10-foot wall. Can I add assist too for them being able to use me as like a stepladder? 
On your one leg? Yes, as uh, my leg's bad, but my knee's great. Sure, you can like steady yourself on the wall with your hands and then just keep your bad leg up and just on your one leg. Oh, yeah. It's a strong leg. This is a dwarf leg. Um, yeah, so we'll say Bethan, if Bethan wants to assist from a tap, yes. Gertie can assist from below. So and now she I plus roll 20? the athletic. Yes, and okay. it'll be plus 20 here. So Liliana okay. will roll, uh, Heinrich will roll, and Vicious will roll. So it's my 49 plus 10 plus 10. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's 69, and I rolled a 16. Nice. Okay, so and then Bethan will assist. roll... Oh, no, no. You didn't fail by four or more. So, Bethan, yeah. you don't pull Bethan off the top. Yeah. So, no, you're up on top. Uh, Heinrich or Vicious are going to go next. Oh, well, let's assume we pushed oh. Vicious up first. That's what she was saying. So, yeah. make an athletics chest test for Vicious. I can imagine Vicious can kind of hop up off of Gertie, and then Bethan can steady Vicious at the top so he doesn't go right over the other side. Uh, two levels of success. Okay. So, Vicious is on top. Vicious will jump right off. Because he would not want to stay up there. All right, so one more athletic test for Vicious for landing. Make sure he doesn't hurt himself landing. He hurts himself landing. Oh, no! Uh, yeah. Mm, he rolled a 96. Oh, no, that's an auto fail. So Vicious is going to suffer uh, Wait, Vicious, uh, 10 Vicious damage. Vicious has points, yes. <laughs> Vicious takes three damage, jumping over to the other side. Ouch. He, he misjudged not a little bit. All. Yeah. I rolled a one for damage. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, three damage, you said? Ten damage. Ten damage? No, you said three. What? You literally said three. I said and I was like, that's not that bad. And you said three. And you were like, I rolled <laughs> one. Bless you. Oh, Bless you. well, okay. So. He rolled a one and it's ten plus. It's four. nine plus because it's, it's ten feet is three yards. So it's ten, or one D ten plus three for every yard you fall. And because he failed the test, he lands poorly, and he'll take 10 damage, which shouldn't even be... Minus his toughness. Yeah, oh, minus... My, sorry, yeah, like, minus like, toughness What do you mean? Because HP is 11. Yeah, he's fine. His toughness is 30. So... So it only it's suffers really, 7. It's really terrible to contemplate having only 11 wounds. <laughs> such, a vulner, such a vulnerable creature. I know. <laughs> Regal, even. Uh, how dog. many does Heinrich have again? 11. Yeah. yeah. Currently <laughs> nine, I believe. <laughs> yeah, currently nine. Oh, so Vicious tries to hop over this side, misjudges the distance a bit, and he lands and kind of yips like, eh. Liliana's like, kind of holds one up. paw up for a moment. Not injured, but like, eh. you know, he's, if you were a person, he'd be like, ow. <laughs> Some whimpering. I'm sure there's some whimpering. And Liliana's like, get me up, get me up. I put a little extra weight on my leg that I don't want to to get her up, you know, a quarter inch quicker. So Liliana gets up there, no problem. Yep. We did that one just out of sequence. Yeah. Uh, does Liliana hop down after or drop down? Um, Can I help lower can her you? down? Sure. Yeah. Lower okay. me down, lower me down. So I would count that as a yard less if Liliana falls. Uh, another okay. athletics one? Yep. We'll, we'll count this as assist by Bethan. So three, four levels of success. All right, so you are fine. You land no problem. Cool. Heinrich, you can make your athletics test with plus 20 to get up. Heinrich, no, please I'm use gonna, my body I, like a tool. <laughs> my initial uh, roll was an 86, but I figured I'd wait till now to spend my fortune point okay. and re-roll that. Yeah, please don't pull me down. Oh, dear. Uh, well, I've rolled a 95 that second time, which uh -oh. even with plus 20 is still four failures on my part. Well, I want to come back. I'm next sorry, time. that's five failures. I'm going to come back next time and see if Heinrich might want to beseech the dark. Oh, gods. no. I warned you that wall was a bad idea, guys. Why is our wall so deadly? A dastardly wall. Should have just walked off. Should have just walked off into the darkness following the wall. Yeah, Never we should have fought 20 monkey people. It would have been a lot <laughs> less dangerous than single than wall. A wall. <laughs>